Have you ever looked at the ocean and thought how beautiful it is, wondering what it looks like under the surface? Here's a preview of the wonders of the ocean. This reef is called Molasses Reef. Molasses Reef is a coral reef located within the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary, diving depths from about 10 feet to more than 70 feet. This is probably the most visited site in the Florida Keys and possibly the United States. Molasses Reef houses massive brain coral, star coral, and other large barrier corals. Caves and ledges provide homes for lobsters, crabs, eels, parrotfish, angelfish, turtles, rays, and sometimes nurse sharks. How to get to Molasses Reef? Well, here are the coordinates. Want to see Molasses Reef? Want to see it for yourself? Do you want to see what the earth has to offer to us? Snorkeling is one of the ways to see how beautiful the ocean is. But before learning how to snorkel, there are laws and rules. Snorkelers and divers must display a diver down flag whenever in the water. The flag's purpose is to warn nearby boaters of the snorkeler's presence. In addition to the flag, snorkelers in the Florida Keys and Key West are not allowed to touch or contact with the coral, marine life, or sandy bottom. Marine officers generally patrol Molasses Reef. To preserve the coral reef, boaters must tie off to one of the 40 mooring buoys surrounding the large tower marking the reef. Before just jumping in the water and opening your eyes to see the reef, you need equipment. What you need are the following. A mask, a snorkel, fins, I highly recommend booties so there's not much friction on your heel when you snorkel. Too much friction on your heel could lead to blisters. And a life vest if you don't feel comfortable. Mask cleaner liquid or soap. You could also use toothpaste or spit. Once you have all the following, you're ready to learn how to snorkel. Check your equipment before heading out. Once on the water, before applying mask cleaner or liquid, adjust the mask to your face. To adjust the mask, there are straps on the side. Make sure you don't make the mask too tight or too loose. Make it the most comfortable you can. If the snorkel is not attached to the mask yet, simply clip the snorkel to the left side of the mask. Make sure the snorkel is on the left side. The mouthpiece of the snorkel is curved to the left. After adjusting the mask and applying the snorkel, apply mask cleaner, liquid, or soap. Apply one drop per mask lens. Using your finger to move around the soap or liquid around, covering the whole lens. After applying the mask cleaner, liquid, soap, or whatever you used, rinse the mask in the water. Put the mask and snorkel on. After mask is on, put booties on. Put your fins on. When walking with fins on the boat, make sure to walk backwards. Walking backwards gives you more balance and control. Jump in the water. If water enters your snorkel, you can either A, take the snorkel out of your mouth awkwardly and try to drain the water out, or B, breathe very hard into the snorkel and the water will be forced out. Once the snorkel is clear, lay flat in the water looking down at a 45 degree angle. After adjusting to breathing, make sure you are comfortable. If you are not comfortable, grab the life vest. If you want to get closer, before diving down, you have to equalize your ears. Equalizing your ears is very simple. You simply pinch your nose and breathe out hard. After equalizing your ears, breathe in and out three times. On the last breath, hold it and go under. The most efficient way to go down is to position your body down, your fins above the surface straight, and once your fins are completely submerged, kick and make sure to include your arms as well. Once you run out of air, look up, kick, and use your arms as well, and make sure your hands are close together, cupping the water to go faster. Once at the surface, blow the water out of your snorkel. Enjoy snorkeling!